Oh my gosh, this is crazy, you guys. It's my first show since I had my little baby. Last time I was on a stage, you were in my tummy. And now he's gonna watch me perform on stage, if he's awake. Um, this is my first show back. I'm in Pomona, California. It's an all new show. I'm really stressed, I'm really nervous, I'm really excited to be on stage. Flynn's gonna watch me perform. Look how blue your eyes are. Whose baby are you? How are you my baby? You're too cute. My baby. He's your baby. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I also, it also feels weird to vlog again because I don't really vlog very much anymore, but I feel like I, like the second I got backstage, I was like, I have to film. I felt like I needed to vlog because I'm like backstage at a theater. I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm excited. And I can't believe last time I did a show, he was in my tummy. And we were in the car and I was like, Flynn, it's your first show. You're, it's your first show. And I was like, oh wait, he's actually done like a million shows in my tummy. We did a big tour last year. He was in the Netflix special, so um, he's been overseas. Overseas, in Ireland and London and Wales. So, I haven't even thought about that. Yeah, he's kind of been everywhere already. So, yeah, um, I'm excited. Hopefully, I don't forget how to vlog backstage. We'll see. Oh, but everyone's here. My dad is here. My brother Trent is here. My mom is here. Yeah, this is super cool. Eric's here and the baby, obviously. And then there's this little like viewing area, which is amazing for the first show. So, they can watch from back here because here's the stage which is super freaking cool. So I'm sure my mom's stoked because she's gonna be yes. with the baby. So, yay, are you excited, Flynn? This is so exciting. So they're setting up down there. And yeah, we're getting ready. We brought his little car. You want a VIP badge, Flynn? Oh. <laughs> you got it. My family's here now. There's Bailey and Parker's up there. And they're gonna be in the show tonight, which is very exciting. So I'm gonna teach them some choreography. We'll see how that goes. in the Los Angeles area is that my family can be in the show. So Parker's on stage right now. I do not like cleaning up. So put that right there and that over there and that right there. Did a horrible job vlogging today, sorry. But I wanted to like at least try to vlog since it was my first show back. And I had so much freaking fun. Like Eric and I are just sitting here just talking about it. And obviously like it was a mess and there were a lot of mistakes and a lot of things that didn't work and a lot of things that did work. But it was so fun. I felt so happy to be on stage. And like the last few tours I did, I 
was pregnant and my doctor was you know obviously was like you can't get sick so i wasn't i didn't hug anybody and so today when the meet and greet started i was like oh my gosh i can hug them i like i hugged everybody i was like so excited to hug people and like take pictures with you guys and do the q a and i was like oh my gosh i love this and then the show i had so much fun on stage like so much fun i was really nervous like super 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 nervous and like i said there's a lot i want to change and fix but Oh my gosh, it was the best. And then I think the best part of the night, I didn't tell you this yet, Eric, Eric's sitting right over there. Um, but the best part of the night, like obviously I love being on stage, but then after the show I got off stage and my whole family was backstage. It was really cool to see everybody. And then um, Flynn was there. My mom was hanging out with Flynn backstage while I was on stage and he was so tired. It was past his bedtime. And so he couldn't fall asleep because there's too much going on. The music was loud and everyone was out there and like whatever. And so I just took him to this like little room and cuddled him and like laid down on a couch backstage with him. And I'm gonna like cry literally, it was so sweet. But like it was my favorite, I almost cried in the moment like laying on the couch with him. But I was like, I just got off stage, did the craziest show, like high energy for like almost an hour and a half, crazy one woman show with screaming people and just like, I was a lunatic screaming and running around the stage and it's five minutes later and I am cuddling in a quiet room with my little baby as he falls asleep in my arms. And I was just like, wow. this is, so yeah. Like it was the coolest, most like one, like loveliest moment. Like it was so wonderful. I was like, I just like did what I love the most, which is being on stage. And now I'm doing what I love the most, which is be a mom. And I'm doing it within like five minutes of each other. It was like the coolest, coolest moment. Like, and I, I haven't had that. I've never done a show with a kid before. Like I've never, you know, been touring 10 years and this was the first time I've ever done a show and I'm a mom now. So it's totally different. And it was like this crazy experience of like, usually I get off stage and it's hectic and crazy. And I have like time to myself and like, um, or time with everyone else. And I'm like packing up and whatever. I don't know. It's just, it's always crazy and hectic. And to have a sweet, quiet moment just me and Flynn, like I didn't have my phone. There was no one else in the room with us. It was just him and me and we we're just cuddling and he fell asleep in my arms. And it was just like, whoa, this is the best night of my life. <laughs> it was really cool. So if you came to the show, thank you. If you want to come to a show, we're doing San Jose and Sacramento this weekend. And then uh, the following weekend, we're doing Tucson and Phoenix, Arizona. And then in a couple weeks, we're going to Salt Lake City. And then I'm not touring for a while. Um, because it takes a long time to plan a tour, but I do want to plan more shows. So hopefully I can take this. I, I worked way too hard on this show to only do these dates. So I'm really hoping I can tour a lot more. Um, yeah, it was really fun. And I was a hot mess. And like there are parts of the show that were freaking terrible, but yeah, there were a couple of moments that were pretty crusty, but I'm really proud of myself. Like as a new mom to like develop and create a whole new show from scratch and Corey and I did literally everything, like made every single prop, made every single costume, and there are a lot of costumes, and made the sets and made all the artwork and edited all the videos and made the entire PowerPoint and came up with all the jokes and all the bits, like to do all that work, like it was nonstop work and like to finally do it on stage was like, it was a very cool feeling and I feel very proud of myself even though it was a mess and there's a lot I wanna fix. I was like, I feel very good now. So thank you for watching my videos and coming to my shows so that I can do what I love. It makes me really happy. And um, yeah, I love you guys and hopefully I'll try to start vlogging again soon. But for now, like, thanks for letting me tour and I hope to see you guys on tour. Okay, love you, bye. Hi, cutie bear. So there was something we didn't film last night that was really crazy that I feel like I need to tell you about. Huh, Flynn? Do you remember what it was? Do you remember? Okay. Right before I'm supposed to go on stage, like my um, tour like manager rep guy was like, hey, you have two minutes. And I was like, okay, great. So I was getting on my costume, which is like, uh, like rhinestone bodice corset thing and the strap as I was putting on snapped off like ripped and it won't stay up if it doesn't have straps um because I'm a breastfeeding mom so my boobs 
are larger. And as time goes by without me breastfeeding my baby, they get bigger and swell and get heavy. <laughs> so like I have to wear straps on my shirts. Like I cannot wear strapless shirts because otherwise like it just won't hold on to everything that's happening underneath. So it was frantic backstage. I was like, we literally can't do the show if I don't have a shirt. I didn't have any other costumes. Like there was the only costume I brought um, cause it's new. So I was like, oh yeah, I don't need other options. Like this is what I'm going to wear. Um, and it broke. So we were frantic. We got like a safety pin, but the safety pin was old and like, it was the only thing we could find. And so I tried to like safety pin it together, but it was like popping off. So then we we're trying to like tape the safety pin cause we didn't have a thread and needle. And, um, we have like this one big duffel bag that I've had for years that I tour with that kind of is like the everything bag. It has like tape and scissors and glue and hot glue and fabric glue and rhinestones and band-aids and like basically everything you could possibly need is in this red bag. But in the past it's had a sewing kit and we had taken it out out at a show when I needed it once. So it wasn't in there. And so we had, we were, I was like, the only way to get this thing to stay is if I have a needle and thread and I can sew it back together. And Rachel and Corey are like, Corey's like searching hotels nearby to see if he can run to a hotel and like buy a sewing kit from like the lobby. Cause sometimes they have them. There was no like CVS nearby. He's like, I could drive to CVS, but I won't be back for like 15 minutes. And it was already seven o'clock, which was the time I was supposed to go on stage. So we're, everyone's frantic, like backstage just trying to find a needle and thread. Rachel's like ripping apart the red devil bag. She's like, I know that when I worked for you, like five years ago, there was a sewing kit in this bag. And, um, she like dug, dug, dug. And at the bottom of this huge red duffel, she found a needle with like a little bit of leftover string on it, like a loose needle, like from the sewing kit. So the sewing kit wasn't there. It was like a needle with a tangled piece of thread. Like somehow she found this at the bottom of the bag. I was like, Oh my God. And so I'm like sitting on the couch, like trying to sew my own strap onto myself without poking myself in the boob and like Rachel's trying to like help me and Corey's like running around like trying to make sure everything is like organized as we were about to start a brand new show it was so hectic but it was so exactly like what I love about performing is like you never know what's gonna happen and something will always go wrong. And I, I, I don't know why, but I love that about performing live. I love that you don't know how it's going to work. Like it's not the same as making a TV show or like my Netflix special. It's like those things just, they are what they are. It's done. They're up and it's, that's it. But like every time you perform live, like something's bound to go wrong and you have to deal with it and figure out how to like go with the flow. And, um, even though it was hectic and terrifying, like I, looking back on it, I'm like, oh, what a cool experience on my opening night. My costume ripped literally seconds before I had to go on stage and I had to hand sew it like in the wings. Um, it was really cool and funny and it was cool to see everyone like band together to try to like figure out a solution. But anyway, we didn't vlog that obviously. It was too hectic, but I wanted to tell you guys about it. Um, I hope you guys like this vlog. Sorry, it was a little bit boring, not very well edited, but mama Sita got sh the nope. So uh, thanks for coming to the show again. Please come see my other shows. I'm so excited. I leave in a few days to go to San Jose and Sacramento. And then a few days after that, I'm going to Phoenix and Tucson, Arizona and Salt Lake City. So I hope to see you guys there. I love you. And thanks for always watching and supporting me. I love you. Goodbye.